everybody. My name is Cindy and this is Emma and we're with Nana Stows and More. Tonight we will be making a pumpkin roll. It's a perfect time of year for pumpkin roll. Uh, you can do it fresh or with a can. I've done it both ways. Um, today we will be using Libby's can and their uh, recipe which I will um, I will put a link in for that recipe. So we know this is the best time of year uh, for um, for for our pumpkin rolls because um, the pumpkins, you know, everybody likes them this time of year. It's the it's a fall fall thing. So, and Emma will be doing a lot of our work this evening. So. Let me, um, I'm going to share this with some people and then we will get started. Let's see. Alrighty, let's share. And my thing isn't popping up. There we go. Okay. So let's share this to a friend's page. Um, now something that you want to be sure of is that I, I, I've heard, I don't know how true it is, that if you want to um, interact, ask questions, you need to come over to Nana Saves and More. Nana Sews and More, sorry. <laughs> Trying to do a couple things at once. Um, and then that way, uh, I'll be able to see your responses. I, I'm not sure because I've never tried it the other way. Okay. You can save this to your timeline if you would like. And then you can watch it later and you can fast forward this past this, uh, boring part and then obviously you can see it anytime you anytime you want so oops okay almost done how have I done who do I still need to do oh I think I got everybody. Oh, one, two more? I'll do two more. Yes, yes. Okay, this is part of this. Two more and then um, we'll be ready to, ready to go. slow and then like I said I will pretty much just direct Miss Emma what to do and she's going to be making this for us tonight. Okay. That is everybody that I wanted to share with. All right so like I said for the recipe we're going to be using the recipe online which is Libby's. So what we've already done, what are you after? A cup. Okay. No, go get a regular cup. All right. Um, we have greased the pan and then we put down, um, stop, Emma, don't worry about her. Then we put down some wax paper and then we you're supposed to grease some flour. I, I personally don't like the flour on there. Um, so I just grease it. But if you grease it pretty good, it usually works. So let's put the wax paper in the drawer there, please. So what she's going to do is, let me find my mouse. All right. Um, she needs three fourths cup of flour. Emma, you're going to put it in that little little um. This bowl right here. Yes. How 
many cups of flour? Three fourths. Three. Need Just a little, little, little bit more. Okay, dump that in there. And then we need some baking powder. share the measurement since it's not our recipe. Good job. Okay. And then we need some bacon soda. Mm -hmm. I know I said it in the beginning, but it just, I wasn't thinking. Okay, get your hand down in there. Stick your hand in there, girly. Too much still. There you go. That's better. Some cinnamon. Still too much. Take it. Yeah. There you go. And some ground cloves. And you need some salt. No, you're going to change sizes and you're going to go with this one. This one? Yep. For the salt. Here you go. I forgot the vanilla in my other one. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, so take a fork. Let me get you a fork. And kind of stir that up in there. There's a fork. And she's just going to kind of mix that up. You want to put that in a smaller bowl first. Give it a little stir. Okay, now in a larger uh, bowl, she's going to put three eggs in there. That makes good. That's good. While she's doing that, I'm going to get her sugar. And then you're going to beat that together. What do I have? What setting? On one or I need two? Two or three. When do I know when to stop it? When it's all mixed together. kind of want to mix that together. Now she's going to add her pumpkin. You've probably heard me mention before how much I love this measuring cup. And then you want me to beat this? Yeah. Um, uh, 
because it pushes up. I got this one from Pampered Chef. I've seen them other places and other stores, but I like how it, look at the sides. There's like nothing, no waste. Come back. Good. Now you're gonna add um, all the flour. Yeah. Do I need to add it in as it's mixing or just add it in? Just add it in. this off. Turn off that light. Oh yeah, that's a little bit better. A little bit better. It's a lot better actually. Yeah. Alright, you want to right, take, take this? No, yeah, take this off first. And put it in the, um. Oh my god, it's there. And put this in the sink. Yeah, let me see the washcloth, please. You want me to pour it into that? I'll get it. Okay. Um, and then what you're going to do is the pan that we greased right here, we're going to pour it onto this. It's called a jelly roll pan or a baking sheet, you know, with the little stuff on it. You, you know, definitely got to have a size, so. Here, we're going to put here. Yeah, I don't know where it was. Well, the dry stuff is in here. Right, yeah, where the, where the roundy part is. No, there's up here. Yeah, that's where I mean up there on the roundy thing. Okay. You want me to spread it out on that? Um, no. If you want, you can wash these dishes so that you can make the um inner part. Or I'll get them in a second. Then you're gonna spread this out. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Try and get it as even as you can. I can do that. I don't know that you can. Okay. Try not to scrape the, the bottom as you do it. You think you are? Well, no, I'm not hitting the bottom. I'm just grazing it. Let's see what I'm doing here. Very quiet tonight on here. No, oh, wait, no, I did not forget the vanilla because I haven't made that part yet. <laughs> okay, we'll give them a quick wash. Just to try and flatten it, I like to hit the bottom. So now it's going to go in the oven for 11 minutes with um, a dark pan. If you had a light pan, it would be a little bit longer. So we'll check it in 11. Let me um, rinse these off real quick. Oh, scratch right here. Yeah, that's because I didn't hook the pan real good one time and it went. It's starting to around? Yep. Here, we want to dry these off because it's going to need these. Yeah.
Let me show you what we need to do. And she can help with that in a second. Sorry. There you go. So you need to get yourself a um, dishcloth, a clean one. And I like to just make sure there's no fuzzies or hair or anything like that. I like to, you know, shake it that really hard. Okay. And you're going to... I'm going to wait to put this on until we're time to mix this part. Okay. So you're going to take the dish towel and you're going to lay it on flat. Let me get to this. And you are going to put powdered sugar on it so that so you just sprinkle it around like this I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. and then i just kind of give it a little bit of a pat to make sure it's all around dishes from dinner. Actually this evening I took fresh beets and I made um, in the Instapot I made beets. Mm, they were so good and then I made like a balsamic vinegar uh, dressing to pour on top of it. It was really really good. Let's see if I can open this. It's supposed to open here somewhere. And today's a nice chilly day, so it's a perfect, perfect day for bacon. You better hurry back. So, put your cream cheese in there. cream cheese in there. I forgot to put it back in my earrings this morning. Oh, okay. I just remembered. Um, and let's get some powdered sugar. Let's measure a cup of dew. The hole in this ear in the back started to close up. Uh oh. Yeah, she has the worst time. She has got to keep earrings in her ears at all times. This earring, this usually one ear. I like yeah. to spoon out my powdered sugar mostly because it puffs so bad and it gets all over the place. You're supposed to sift it so I just kind of look for the bumps. If you have a whisk you could whisk it. Forget how much powdered sugar is. So we have our powdered sugar and oh I forgot to and butter. Forgot to salt the nut. So I'll soften it in the right way because I have a, a soften button. And it actually works pretty good. Let's see, soften. Takes about 
30 seconds to do that. Now your cream cheese is supposed to be at room temperature as well. So while we're doing that, what else can we put in there? And vanilla. Let me get a spoon for that. need it again. So, let me just sit it right here. Now it smells like vanilla. Mmm, but that would be good. So we need six tablespoons of butter or margarine. Excuse me. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> Do it the other way. One, two, three, four, five. in them and we'll save this for my next batch and then she's going to cream that together is it time to mix it now yep and then we'll start it on one to lick the spatula if you didn't hear her. You knew what I meant. <laughs> oh, you mean this thing. Mm -hmm. Beater. That thing. Um, when we were done with this thing. No, we got this thing too, you know. Mm -hmm. Are we done with that? Yep. Let me see. Mm, I love the mixture. All right, you can take that off. left but we won't be using the one in the oven I have one that's actually over here cooling that I can get right now I just got powdered sugar on the floor because it has to be completely cool before you actually put the um cream cheese on so that's why we made this ahead of time so we didn't have to wait for it to cool because it it took like at least an hour to cool let me check on the one in the oven now Good. Let me see. Yep, it's 
done. So, do I have another? What did I do with all my hot pads? Oh, here they are. So, after you take it out of the oven, be careful because it's hot, obviously. Uh -huh, <laughs> Not that I know of. I you're going to take and you're going to flip it onto this towel that um, we put the powdered sugar on. And do it really fast. Okay, watch yourself. This is hot. You want me to peel this off? Yep. But I want him to see what you're doing. So scooch over. Okay. And then you need to grab this right here. Hold on, hold on. Because if you don't do it, so she's peeling off that wax paper. And you want to do that pretty quickly. You do not want to wait. Do not let that cool on there, whatever you do. Put it in the trash. And there's a piece of cake on there if you want it. And then after you do that, you want to put this on it and roll it. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to take it over here on my table. And I have a um, rack, and I'm going to cool it on a cooling rack. Do you want me to put this over there? Yep. Put this one here. So now that that's done, we get to Can open I this roll it? Mm -hmm. carefully. She's going to carefully unroll it. There we go. There it is. So now, I think I need to tilt you down a little bit. Let me... Let me do that. I hope that you don't fall having issues lately. Okay, there we can go. I help with the yes, you can there. help with that. So here, I'll plop it and then you spread it. Not getting too close to the end because it will squish out. Okay. So you need to just kind of put this on here like this. figure out like where I want to dollop it. <laughs> Well, yeah, but you want to make it, the reason why you don't want to just plop it in the middle, but you want to try and put it so that it, you know, spreads nicely. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. And like I said, try not to get too close to the edge. Mm -hmm. Emma, you're holding that wrong. Yep, that way, the rounded part should be away. Let me see for that, just just a minute. Is that close enough to the edge or too close? No, it's pretty good actually. And you want to be really, really careful. This is like to me the hardest part of the whole thing. I feel like sometimes unwrapping can be. Can I try wrapping it? Yeah, I'll let you roll it. Like I said, not too, too close. You feel how cool it was. It's pretty cool. And it just feels like sometimes, like it's just... I scrape it off under that spot. Yeah. My fingers are clean, obviously. You've seen me a half a dozen times wash my hands. It looks pretty good. And I didn't go too close to the edge here either because it is going to squirt when you roll it. Let me just kind of come to the edge a tiny bit. Just... Oops. Make it too close but go to the edge. Yeah, because, well, you don't want to have a lot on the edge because you don't want it to squirt out. But you do want some there because you don't want to get just plain old. I mean, the, the pumpkin cake would be good. Now, without the towel, you roll it. Well, I know that. If you roll it. 
that look okay leave it just like that looks delicious so now you're going to take hmm? looks big in the middle yeah and it usually right here so you're going to take a piece of plastic wrap and you're going to wrap it and then you're going to put it in the refrigerator for an hour a very long hour because I am like ready right now to eat this <laughs> I've been wanting pumpkin roll for so long and Emma asked for it the other day, and I was like, yeah, that's a really good idea. So here it is. And you can sprinkle more powdered sugar on it if you'd like. Um, but it kind of dissolves in the sitting on it, so I would save it for, um, yeah, when you go to eat it. we go so we're gonna put this in the refrigerator for an excruciating hour <laughs> I must over here stealing some of it I'm so and I will post pictures it. of it when we are done now don't forget to share this to your time <coughs> excuse me share this to your timeline so that you can let me tilt you back up let me talk to you yep is it can you wait a minute Before, be sure to share this and then you can watch it again later. You can um, rewind it. Thank you for the hearts. Um, you can rewind it. You can go past the boring parts and you can watch it as often as, as I like. And, and by sharing it, others get to see it and hopefully they could join us too. So we would love for you to um, follow, like and follow our page. We'd really appreciate that. And until next time, I don't know when. I have to work Wednesday and Thursday evening, so I won't be on probably the rest of the week. Might do a pop-in. If somebody lets me do their hair tomorrow, I will uh, pop one for that. But this one got all her hair cut off. She was my model. And she had a beautiful haircut. So, okay. Well, in any case, thank you for joining us. And um, we enjoyed making this today, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Emma did a really good job. Looks beautiful. So in an hour, it'll be time for dessert. So thanks for joining us. Just eat it, Emma. That's what she says. Okay, we gotta wait. No, we gotta wait. It's gotta chill. You gotta have it perfect. No, oh, I'm she's talking about that. Go for it, mm -hmm. Emma. Oh, stick that thing in your mouth and eat I'm it. I'm going to. <laughs> so, alrighty. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.